Today I'm going to show you how to check when someone has last been online in Roblox. Now, while this trick specifically made for this video only works on PC, I've also got you mobile Roblox players covered because I'll be showing you alternative ways to do this towards the end of the video, so be sure to stay around for that. But without further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing you want to do is download the RoPro extension. Now don't worry if you don't know how to do this, simply click on the top right corner of your screen when you're done with this video, as I have already made a full RoPro tutorial and review video that that you can follow and it's really really simple the same video will also be found in the description as well as the comments so you can find it easily once you have Roepro installed you will have access to many more roblox features which is mainly the reason why i recommend having Roepro if you are a pc user now to use Roepro to find out when someone was lost online all you have to do is go to that person and hover over the gray circle by their character profile picture for newer users to roblox the gray circle means that the user is currently offline now once you hover over that circle for about a second or two it will tell you how long it's been since they were last online another cool thing is that you hover over the time display it actually shows you the exact moment they were last online including the date and time in your local time but i know that roblox is growing more and more because of the mobile players of the game so it would be kind of unfair to not add some cool ways for mobile players to do this because unfortunately Roepro is only a pc thing the way you can do this as a mobile player is join a specific Roblox game. Now the one I trust is called Check a User's Last Online Information. I'll leave a link to that in the description. When you join the game, you can pick between going single or multiplayer. This is based on preference. Once you have decided, all you do is insert a username into the box at the top and it will tell you when they were last online as well as a whole lot of more information about their roblox account it allows you to view exactly the moment their account was created their outfit their groups their description etc it's also important to note that you should select your own time zone by clicking the first button on the top left of the screen as this will let you put the time into your time zone you do have multiple options here but you can always add your own time zone in utc if you don't know what your time zone is in utc just google your country or your state in utc and put the number that pops up at the end into the little white box to put it into your own local time i hope this helped you out in the way you wanted be sure to subscribe so your friend who has been offline for six years can finally come back to roblox lol